Hello, my name is Andras, and this is a video about trauma holders in systems. I am a trauma holder, as well as a protector. Scribble, who is another one of our trauma holders, originally wanted to film this, but he was very tired after therapy, so I decided to come forward to do it instead. I haven't been on the channel before, but I would like to be at least a little recurring. I've decided I'm not going to mask on the channel, I'm going to try and be my authentic self, which means I'm not going to be quirky or cute or pretend to like everybody. I'm not going to also, I'm not going to stare at a stupid dot on the side of the camera to make it look like I'm looking at people. I look fine here. Anyway. So, this is a video about trauma holders finding things that they like to do and why this is so important. The reason that it's important is because it helps establish identity beyond what that alter has been through. Having yourself reduced to just an event or role is very dehumanizing. Those roles are part of who we are, they are part of what made us, but they are not all that we are now. It can help solidify an alter's place in the system if they have something to cling to which is uniquely them. Often this is an activity. It can also be an item or a show that they like watching, but I find that hobbies are a better. It can also help a lot with confidence, feeling like you deserve to front for you, which every altar does. Every altar deserves to be able to have time in the body, not because they need to fulfil a purpose, but because, like any other person, they deserve to have free time and to find activities to take pleasure in. Finding a hobby can actually also help with unmasking, which leads in leans into that identity thing that I talked about earlier. So what kind of stuff could you or your system's trauma holders do to help find the things that they enjoy? So a couple of examples from us, which we wrote down, because I'm following this stupid thing. Well, mine, as you might be able to tell, is makeup. This is a very rushed job. Ideally, I'd like to get a proper set, which has a lot of things in it that I could do. I also I didn't paint our nails. I would have liked to paint our nails red, but left over from Honesty's Meet the Oldest video and I can't be bothered to peel it all off or try and apply another coat. Scribble likes video games, no one likes reading to the littles. Tia enjoys drawing and watching certain anime. Oh, uh, Omega enjoys Omega likes drawing and bubble tea, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, sorry, I'm really not. I'm not the most dynamic person to be on camera, and we have also had the worst day and the worst day in therapy. So. So, how do you find some things that you like? Well, the most simple thing, if you don't already know, is just try things out. Look around your room, your space, your house, your school, if you go to school, and see some of the things the other alters like doing. Pick up a book, 
that you're currently reading and see if you enjoy it. Uh, try to draw if you have access to drawing things. Uh, try and play a video game. Just try and experience life. See what you enjoy about it because you deserve to. It's been a very short video for us but said I'm very tired. Genuinely to anyone who has made it all the way through, thank you for watching. I hope that this has helped someone, some other trauma holder out there. And if you'd like us to make more videos like this, please please feel free to reach out through the email available in our about. Have a good day everyone. Mm -hmm.